Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. No, that was kind of weak. And today, we're drinking bourbon. Nailed it. All right, Ben, what's on the bar today? <laughs> All right, well, we've got, this is just a little robotic, you see, you know. We've got, bam, this is Broken Barrel 95 Proof. So this is a small batch, I guess. Um, Broken Barrel is a company that does... Breaks barrels? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or they just happen to have a lot of broken barrels for some odd reason. Oh, yeah. And they take chunks of those broken barrels, shove them in their whiskey. Into other barrels. Yeah, and then they uh, add a little extra flavor, kind of like a Maker's Mark Private Select. So we think it's a stave profile kind of a thing, finished. Yeah, Wood so finished. they've got a mash bill on here. 70% uh, corn, 21% rye, 9% malted barley. That is boring. I mean, seriously, you're gonna have to pick up your mash bill game. What's wrong with that mash bill? Uh, I'm sure it's fine, but I mean, at least use a third or something. Like, <laughs> did you do most of yeah. it? 70.3%? Exactly, that would yeah be much more interesting. I feel like he's wrong on that. Please comment below. <laughs> and then there's also an oak bill. An oak bill? Yeah. Insert duck joke here, <laughs> because you did in the last review of their product that we did. So the oak bill is the different kinds of staves that they throw into the barrel. So 40% of it is ex-bourbon barrels. 40% is new French oak. It doesn't say char, it just says new French oak. And then 20% sherry cask oak. Hey, that adds up to 100%. It sure does. So this is a, ooh, solid cork pop, real cork. We've never had this before, but we did a review of the cast strength version of this exact bourbon. Which is like 115 proof. Yep, 115, and we really liked it. I actually, um, I remembered that review, but then I, I went back and watched that <laughs> before doing this. And um, in that review, it took me a long time, like until the end of the video, to just actually say I really liked it. I kept like coming up with ways to describe it and saying it was interesting and different and super spicy. And then so I was just like, man, I never said I actually just really liked the bourbon until the very end, so. Because sometimes it takes a while. It's the oak bill. You just have a problem with the oak bill. Could be. So anyway, it's interesting. And so what do, we, what do we say? Is there an age statement? There's no age statement. It is, uh, what, 95? Yep, straight bourbon whiskey, so it's at least four if it doesn't have an age statement. Okay. Um, Are they from Kentucky? You know, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't read. Um, the cast strength one, which I think at, we're probably okay. just going to have to bust that out and maybe taste it alongside Oh, yeah, totally. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I've been drinking my way through that bottle kind of slowly, mm -hmm. but it's one of those bottles where my opinion of the flavor has changed a little bit because in the original review what else would you have an opinion of i mean the appearance of the bottle that, that well probably... right okay so my opinion has changed <laughs> so that when i originally had that in the review it was just all spice like super spice forward and then i've been getting some like really like nice chocolate notes mm -hmm. off of that um i drank like half the bottle maybe or something like that so i'm wondering if this is going to carry that same sort of flavor profile Let's find out. And there's only one way to find out we can stop yapping about it and get into the tasting here what do you mean we I promise we've only had two bourbons before reviewing this. I'm getting a flavor profile that I'm not familiar with. I'm getting that chocolate a little bit on here. It's got kind of a dark, rich flavor. Did you, I did just, you just I jump out of the glass a little it bit? did, yeah. I've done that before and it hit me right in the eye. It's like one of our reviews has that where oh. I was twirling it around. <laughs> so, um, so. Nice, rich nose to it. 95 proof. Yeah, chocolatey. I'm getting a flavor profile that I'm concerned. Really? But, but we'll see where it Are goes. you getting some youth? Yeah, youthy slash, I just have a real problem with 71% corn. I just. It's 70% <laughs> corn, so you're in luck. Oh. 
Oh, 70, 21, nine. All right, all right, let's get into it here, cheers. It's a little muted. Insert sad trombone sound now. <laughs> Do you not like it? It's fine. But yeah, it's, but I, fine's not good enough. Now I don't know what, well, first of all, it was free because I didn't pay for it, you did. This is only like 29 bucks. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah, it's not an expensive one. Okay. Um, I like the flavors that it brings. Yes. They're so, just hiding behind little model molecules of water. Yeah, exactly. So I think the, the, as we've said a billion times on this channel, age or proof. Not available. I'm guessing this is maybe, yeah, not available in Minnesota. <laughs> I'm guessing this is maybe a little bit on the younger side. Yes. And so while I really like the cast strength version, where it doesn't have the age, that one has the proof. We do have an adage on the channel that we came up with. Maybe it was you. A bourbon either needs age or proof to kind of help it. If yeah. It's, if it's if it doesn't have one, sometimes having the other can kind of save it a little bit. Yes. Now a bad bourbon is a bad bourbon, and exactly, you know, some of them are not going to be saved by that. But usually, a younger one, if you give it a higher proof, to really kind of bring out some of those flavors yep. that, um, or low proof but longer age, you get a lot more wood yep. notes that are interesting. Exactly. Although so, wood notes is not a good name for a channel. No, probably not. I mean, there's probably. <laughs> I'm sure there's a website out there. <laughs> anyway, so this this bourbon, actually, these are not terribly common in Minnesota. There's only a couple of stores that I've seen them Did at. Did you get this on vacation or local? No, I got this in Minnesota. So I got this one out at Brinkies in Richmond, which is a great liquor store. If you live in Minnesota, it's kind of one of those ones Where's that... Richmond? It's, um, it's just, it's way out there. That's okay. Kind of central Minnesota. Okay. Highway 23. Um... But it's kind of one of those stores, it's kind of like a little bit of a bourbon oh. oasis, kind of in the middle of not a whole lot going on. So west of Minneapolis, south of St. Cloud? No, not south. So it's, yeah, we look it up on the map. We're, okay. we're getting off topic here. <laughs> Welcome to the geography note. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, no, go check that store out because I do like to call out whenever we, you know, have a really good yeah. store. I stop in there fairly often. Mm -hmm. um, talk to Scott out there. He's super knowledgeable about bourbon. Um, they get some good store picks and stuff, and they've got a good selection with really, really fair prices. So, yeah, check out uh, Brinky's Liquor. Anyway, this one is, yeah, I don't know. There's just, I feel like this is a perfect example of that age versus proof thing, because having had the cast strength and really liking it, which I think we should bust it out. Well, I think we need to, because, I mean, this comes across as a little bit youthful, and that's not a crime, and it comes across as a little watered down. That's not a crime. But when you do en enough that's not a crimes together, it becomes uh, a crime. Crime-ish. Yeah. So I don't hate it. It, it tastes like bourbon, but it, it's a little on the... I will say this. As far as like for a, a $29 bottle, as far as being the proof that it is, which 95, I feel like that's the thing that I feel is kind of killing it. I think at 95 proof, it should have a little bit more going on than it I does. I agree. Like if this was an 80, we would acknowledge. Or even 86, yeah. like, you know. But at 95, there's plenty of bourbons that have finally stepped up their game enough, and at 95, they're able to fight with the big dogs. Yeah. And this one is still- I don't still, think it's quite there. It's struggling. But it does, the flavors that it it's does not have- bad. It's bad, it's just a little. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do the uh, 95 proof for one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna get one more sip off of that. Not it bad does, flavors, it's just it, a little... It's really brown sugar for it. That's the most prominent thing I'm getting is brown sugar, some oak spice, but it's really light. Maybe the ethanol burn, but again, super light. Mm -hmm. It does have some like buttery, buttery kind of like smoothness to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, very yeah. light and easy. Did you hit the cast right yet? I'm about. Yeah, check that out. I just took a sip of that. It's... It's a whole different Boy. ball game. I mean, <laughs> and these are the exact same oak bill and mash bill. Well, I would hope so. Yeah, I'm sure they do different ones though, where they have different oak bills and stuff like that. Where they, I'm sure, you know, because yeah. they do have a lot of expressions. <laughs> a lot of expressions. Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This cast strength one is just so much darker. 
Like it really, really benefits from the extra proof. So this one I, on the nose, I was almost getting zero bourbon notes. Hey, it's the name of the movie in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, it's dark. It's very dark. It's demented. It's scary. I like it. Yeah, but it drinks like a bourbon. A lot of burn in a good way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, this one weakness is more subtle. But yeah. I think maybe the wood sugar. I mean, that really drinks like it's older. I don't know the age of it, and I'm sure they. I probably, imagine they're probably the same thing. You know, you would just think, cast yeah. strength. This drinks older though. But I think you're getting. You know, when, you, when you're not watering down all the flavors, yeah. you're getting some of that stuff that's going to shine through a little bit more. Um, I think I mentioned at the beginning of this. I can't remember if I told you this before we started recording or during the review. Well, I probably didn't. Listen when to we it. first reviewed this one, I just got all spice off of it. Mm -hmm. And it does have a great spice to it. Mm -hmm. But since I've been making my way through the bottle, like that dark chocolate yeah. kind of dark sweetness has really been coming through. And I really, really like it. So I would say in this one, honestly, I don't think it was that much more expensive. So I would say between the two of them, if, I mean, if you're, if you like a nice, easy drinking bourbon, you don't want the high proof stuff, then this is, this is a good option. I mean, this is not a bad bourbon at all. No, it's I'm not. I'm kind of more comparing it to the cast strength because I like this one so much and it just falls a little bit flat. I think this comes across as a bit more of an entry level bourbon, mm -hmm. which is okay. And it's actually like the proof is a little bit too high for that. Like it, if we're 80 or 86, it'd be fine. Yeah. At 95, I would expect a little bit more. Yeah. This really drinks like a whiskey geek kind of, because 115 proof for is sure. obvious. Yep. And then there's really subtle butterscotch, chocolate, caramel kind of notes. Oh, he's doing it. A little. Let's see what we can come to like a hundred proof, you know. Well, what do you? Ninety-five well, and one fifteen. Oh yeah, that's right. We add them together. Was, for a second there, I was gonna cut down the one fifteen with the ninety-five. Two ten. Yeah, you're right. Two hundred and ten proof. Two hundred and ten proof. You'll probably catch on fire. Yep. And uh, let's give that a shot. Whoa. I got a, a genie just pop out of there or something? Did I miss that, something? That would have been nicer. I got a flavor profile of a fruit that I don't care for. I'm still getting it. I am still getting it. What is it? I hate cantaloupe. Really? You're getting cantaloupe out of there? Huh. Interesting. I'm still just getting kind of the dark sweetness. There's something about this that is gone cantaloupe. Which probably should be a t-shirt, to be honest with you. <laughs> I feel like this whole review has gone off the rails a little bit. Nah, people but, are enjoying it. You know, if, if we end up with a t-shirt that says Gone Cantaloupe, <laughs> I mean, I guess it was worth it. Have you tried the blend yet? I'm, I'm about to go cantaloupe, evidently. Mine's already gone. We have one more review to film after this, and I have a feeling it's going to be an absolute shit show. That's really good. So there's no cantaloupe there, no, on no, it? No, there's cantaloupe on the nose, but definitely not on the, on the, the palate. Um, that reminds me of a joke that I heard one time. Why do melons get married? Because they can't elope. Have you ever thought about telling a joke on the channel? Um, I just did. Oh, I should probably get a sign <laughs> that say prepare for joke. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to say it. I heard that joke at one point. I didn't say it was a good joke. I just said I heard it at one point. So overall thoughts on the, you know, we're really here to review this one because we've already reviewed the cast strength. We already know we love this mm -hmm. one. It's good. I'd say it's worth the 29 bucks for sure. Um, so not everybody well, likes the, you finish. The, the proof punch in the face, you know? The proof punch in the face. Yeah, some people like it stuff like Basil Sounds like a Hades. Nickelodeon channel, like game show from the proof 90s. Proof punch in the face. <laughs> Something that would involve like slime yeah, or something. Yeah, totally, of course. Um, so this one is a, it's a good way to maybe just explore something that's different, because it is unique. It does pick up some different flavors from the staves and stuff like that. Um, I would not consider this a run of the mill, down the middle bourbon. It does have its own kind of lane. Mm -hmm. And so if you like something that's a little easier drinking, then I would say absolutely. For 29 bucks, I would, I would give that a shot. I definitely don't think it's bad in any way. Dried mango. Getting dried mango. On the blend. How about the actual just bourbon itself? So, I am really interested in learning more about the distillery. Mm -hmm. I think they 
potentially have some other stuff that I would like more. Yeah, I think this one, there's something about it that just doesn't connect. Like, it's too high of proof, and the flavors just don't... It's too high of proof to drink as easy as it does. Yeah. Like, you're expecting more from 95. Exactly. Yeah, um, I would agree but, with that. But the price is okay. The bottle looks sure. cool. Um, yeah, you're not paying 50, 60 bucks exactly. for it like you do with a lot of craft whiskeys. This is amazing, but I think this is really a whiskey geek um, experience type bottle. Yeah. And at a good price, so that's a no, totally worth it. I would love, and to be honest, I think this blend, other than the weird dried mango fruit, um, I, if they did a hundred and, let's say a bottle of Bond. Sure. Maybe a 105 or something like that. Um, with a little bit of age, I think it could be exceptional. Oh yeah. And they've got a whole bunch of different expressions. It's yeah. just, they're not really common in Minnesota, but there are a couple places that have them. So I think I'll definitely explore this brand for sure. I, like, I, I'm, that's what I take away from this is I think I like the brand. Yeah. This I'm not as, don't love it. This I do love and the blend I actually really like. So maybe see a hundred proof banger of this yeah. or something like that and totally. check it out. So, yeah. well, keep your eyes out for these because they definitely are interesting. So if you like exploring different flavor profiles, which if you're watching a bourbon show on YouTube, you probably do. So anyway, well, this has been Broken Barrel 95 proof with a little guest appearance by the Broken Barrel cask strength at 115 on the bourbon note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Thanks for watching. Cheers.